Your routine teeth cleaning may be put on hold as dental offices get used to a new normal during this pandemic. What I want people to understand is that when they call their dentist just because we're open doesn't mean that we have all of us have the capacity that we once did. So, you know, please have some patience and compassion. Governor DeWine gave dentists the green light to open May 1st following specific guidelines from the state dental board. But for many offices to even consider reopening, they'll have to get their hands on more protective gear. Distributors don't have a date of when uh, we will be getting our next batch. Uh, the amounts that we can order are very limited. Dr. Maria Bustamante owns Seven Star Dental downtown. She says her office only has a handful of PPE and she won't reopen until she feels her staff is fully safe and prepared. I anticipate that the earliest that we can open for more urgent treatments might be in two weeks. Dr. Troy Pierce said he began seeing a shortage of PPE as early as January. The recommendation are to wear a, a level three mask with a face shield. Pierce's offices will be at about 75% operating capacity with new rules for patients like eliminating visitors that come with a patient, requiring patients to come with their own mask, and ensuring spacing in the office and more safeguards. Employees also have new guidelines. Long sleeves, uh, covering your hair, changing out your clothes when you get to the office and when you go home, not wearing anything out of the office at all. So a lot of changes and so far many dentists have thrived with telehealth appointments to help patients with preventative care air purifiers there's a, those are also things that are in high demand right now for many dentist offices. Ashley Kirkland WLWT News 5.